Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Krista. Hey, um, we are canning. Um, I just picked a bunch of more tomatoes from the garden. Um, I think I counted, I think I picked 61 tomatoes today from the garden. So today is the day of canning. We've got to get them used up, otherwise they're going to go bad. Um, so over here what I've got started so far is I've got a pasta sauce in the making. So that's cooking away. Um, that'll cook for probably about another 40 minutes or so. Um, and then what I will do is I will use an immersion blender and get out any of the additional chunks that are in there. So that's what I got for pasta sauce. And then over here, I've got uh, my tomatoes and my peppers already cut up for salsa. Salsa is going to be next. And then um, my onions were ready well before my tomatoes. So I already have my onions cut up. I just took them out of the freezer. I just cut them up and put them in um, an old container that we had and froze them until I was ready for them. So today, um, like I said, I'm canning. So this will probably make, I'm guessing it's probably going to make probably 12 jars each of pasta sauce and of salsa. So I'm doing that. Um, we've got dogs here that we're watching this weekend who so are puppy sitting. And then also it's getting to be the end of the month. I think there's like a week and a half left of the month. So we are starting to run out of easy meals um, to make. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through the pantry and the freezer and I'm going to write down everything that we still have um, available so that I can put together a list or um, a meal plan for the next week and a half. Uh, what this is going to do, this is going to help make sure that we use up all of the items that we bought last month and then also help us use up anything that we had from left over from the month before um we've got a lot of fresh vegetables this month that need to be used up so i'm going to go through that and show you how i make my meal plan at the end of the month when we're really starting to run low on food options okay let's go okay welcome to my um messy yet empty refrigerator um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just start taking things out one by one, um, making sure they're still good, and if they are, we're going to plan on using them up um, this next week and a half. Uh, this is going to go by pretty quickly because, as you know, this is all this is doing is wasting electricity. So I'm just going to go through this real quick. So we've got uh, three quarters of a jar of pasta sauce, so I'm going to write down pasta sauce. We've got a kohlrabi, which can be cut up and just eaten as a snack. We've got some kosher pickles. And now these I don't necessarily classify as a condiment because these are ones that will go bad quicker. Um, they're more of a homemade one. We've got some garden green beans. That's my protein shake that I'm going to drink later on today. But we have some garden green beans that need to be used up some sourdough bread. Um, if anyone did not know this, sourdough bread stays good in the refrigerator a lot longer than it will if you put it in your cupboard or your pantry. So we always keep our sourdough bread in here. I've got some Parmesan cheese, I've got ricotta cheese, and sour cream, it looks like. I've got a couple of zucchinis from the garden that we need to get cooked up. I've got half a tomato that's already been cut up, plus we've got a ton more tomatoes that were just picked from the garden today. I've got, let's see, what else do I have? I have some cabbage, some tortilla rolls, I've got carrots that need to be used up and cooked, eggs. Um, mangoes and then I've got some sliced and shredded cheese here so just by looking at my list here um, of what I've written down just by eyeballing it it looks like we have sour cream tomato cabbage 
tortillas and shredded cheese. So it looks like definitely one of these next nights are going to be a taco night or some sort of a Mexican night. You guys, that pasta sauce, I just stirred it, smells amazing. Oh, we might be having pasta for dinner tonight. I think we have garlic bread out in the freezer. I'll have to look when we go out there. So this freezer um, primarily is not used for a whole lot of food. Um, we don't have an ice maker or anything, so this has our ice trays in it. Um, also, once a month, I buy about 25 to 30 bananas, and I peel them, break them up in thirds or in halves, and I freeze them, and I use them in my shakes. So this pan here is that. Um, the frozen berries, uh, we use those in our overnight oats. So that I don't need to worry about. These are some zucchini, chocolate zucchini muffins we made that we snack on so that I don't have to worry about. Um, there are a couple of things in here though that do need to be used up. So um, again, we have a little bit more shredded cheese. I don't know if you know this or not, but you can freeze shredded cheese. Cheese um, freezes amazingly uh, as long as it is shredded. If you buy block cheese, you can freeze that as well but make sure you shred it first and put it in an airtight container otherwise it gets really crumbly so shredded cheese though freezes really well but it does look like we have got some meat in here it looks we have some pork stew meat we have some shredded chicken breast uh, or shredded chicken I a lot of times so we buy our meat in bulk but I love Sam's Club rotisserie chickens. You get an entire rotisserie chicken, it's huge. You get it for $4.95. So we'll go to Sam's usually once a month, um, to pick up dog food. And while we're there, I'll usually pick up two chickens, I bring them home, I shred them up, I put them in containers, and then that way it's a quick, easy, pull out um, meat to have. So we make nachos with it, we'll put it in chicken and noodles, um, chicken and rice bake, we'll make stir fries, we make tons of stuff with it. But it's already shredded and ready to use so it's quick after work, um, get home, take it out, throw it in the pan and it's done. So we always keep some um, shredded chicken but that should be getting used up. Um, we have some meatballs that look like they've been opened so these should be getting used up. And then back there we also have some shredded pork. So Erin loves to smoke meat. Um, and which is great, but the problem is, is he loves to smoke meat so much we end up with like an excessive amount of meat. So normally when he smokes meat, if, we're, if we don't eat it all, um, then what we do is I shred it up and I throw it in the freezer and same with like the chicken breast. It's super easy then to just pull out at night and we can have, you know, maybe barbecue pork sandwiches, um, let it thaw out, cook it down, you know, warm it up a little bit, throw some barbecue sauce on it and have barbecue pork sandwiches. Uh, over here in the door, we have some chocolate chips that could probably get used up. Um, those are ice packs. We have some coconut. And I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it looks like a portion of a ham. So we've got some ham that needs to get used up as well. So I'm going to write these items down. All right, so here is the outside um, freezer, the one that's in the garage. Um, it's quite messy, please uh, don't mind that. So in here, um, it looks like we got a decent amount of stuff. So I've got a bag of frozen berries right there. I use those for my shakes. Um, bag of frozen noodles, some fish that we can use up this week. Here we've got some chicken wings and chicken breast tenders. I'm pretty sure Aaron was going to smoke those though. I think that's why we purchased those. So I have to double check before I add them into a meal plan. We've got some um, five cheese Texas toast. We've got some frozen spinach. Texas toast would go good if we did do a pasta night um, tonight. And then we've got some taco meat. And like I said, we had all the other fixings inside for tacos. So it looks like we are definitely having tacos this week. Uh, back there, I've got some brioche bread. Um, these bags right here, um, these are frozen pumpkin. So um, in the fall, after we are done with our pumpkins, I cook them down and puree them. And I put that in the dog's food and they love it they absolutely love it pumpkin is great for dogs so it's kind of just a little treat that we give them 
Uh, let's see, down here we've got some frozen broccoli and some frozen cauliflower, so we'll probably use that in a meal this week. That's frozen broccoli and frozen cauliflower like mixes are probably one of the only vegetable mixes I do purchase because we don't grow broccoli and cauliflower. I just have no luck with it, so we do purchase those. Um, Looks we'll like another bag of frozen veggies right there. Let's see what kind they are. Oh yeah, broccoli and cauliflower. Okay, um, we've got a whole bag of chicken wings. So yes, I think Erin is definitely getting ready to smoke some food here. Bag of ice right here. Erin likes to um, put ice, like we don't have an ice machine, like I said, inside. So we just freeze it in the ice cube containers and we put it in the bags. So that when he goes fishing, um, he can put it in his cooler and keep his drinks or his food cool and whatever he else he's taking along. So we have some ice there. What else do we have back here? More veggies. Lots of veggies, it looks like, which is fine because veggies, frozen veggies are good and a lot of different meals. But definitely looks like I don't need to be purchasing any frozen veggies anytime soon, that's for sure. Then, uh, let's see, down here we've got some, this is mostly food that Erin eats um, for lunch. So they're just easy go-to things. Um, there's some chicken strips up there. And then he's got some barbecue sandwiches and some fish sticks. He can just throw in the pizzazz during the day and that's what he can eat for lunch. Um, I've got a ham end right here. It looks like I got some ravioli back there and some meatballs, a couple of things of meatballs. So that's good, we'll be able to use those up. Um, in that Menards bag right there is frozen um, rhubarb. A friend of mine has just an abundance of rhubarb. So she gives me some every year and then I freeze it and use it for desserts throughout the year. Okay, so for the pantry. We have got, uh, let's see what we all have in here. All right, so I have a thing of breadcrumbs that are open and need to be used up, so I'm going to add those to the list. We've got some soups, we've got some beans, um, some black beans, so that'll be great with tacos if we do tacos this week. Uh, I've got some different <coughs> soups. I've got canned tomatoes. That's just the dogs barking at each other in the background. Uh, we've got canned tomatoes, diced tomatoes this out of the way. I've got some more like store-bought pasta sauce. Um, I buy that for when we start running out of a pasta sauce for the year. I've got some vegetables. I got some green beans it looks like. Some uh, green chilies. I've got some noodles. These noodles right here. These Adamami spaghetti. We purchased those a couple of months ago and I have not had a chance to use them yet. So maybe I will use them on pasta night because um, they really need to be getting used up. I've got some other things of noodles. I've got a bag of rice right there that's open, needs to be used up. Peanut butter, not too worried about. This bag of croutons. It's not open, but we have had it for a couple of months. So I'm going to see if I can try to figure out a way to use it um, and get them out of there. And that's just Frankie's head in my pantry helping me out here. Down here um, in this bag here, I've got, it's a bag of sweet potatoes, so I've got potatoes that can be used up. Um, that's just flour, we have some juices, some drinks and crackers and stuff back there. And then up here on the top shelf is just some spices, some, you know, dressings, cooking spray, things along those lines. There's nothing up there that I'm too concerned about. So this is what we're going to use out of the, or these are the couple of things we can use out of the pantry. Okay, so now we're going to meal plan for the next week, maybe even the next week and a half, so that I make sure that we have enough food to get us through until we go grocery shopping the next time. So here is the list of um, everything that we had. I have everything that we had in our pantry, in our refrigerator here, and then our two freezers here. Um, I like to keep the freezers separate because a lot of times the stuff in the freezers, if I don't get to it, it's not the end of the world. It'll hold over till the next month. Um, unless there is something that has been in there for a while, then I will star it to make sure that it does get used up this month. Um, and then anything over here in our refrigerator, our refrigerator stuff doesn't stay good quite as long, so I'm going to try to utilize those options first. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through this list, and 
we like to do a variety of meals throughout the week. Um, a lot of times we'll do like Mexican, we'll do a pasta. We usually try to, I at least try to do a meatless night. Uh, Aaron's not crazy about the meatless thing, um, but we're, we're working on it. So um, we'll do that and then we'll try to use up any of this additional meat. Maybe we'll do a fish one night or something along those lines. We'll go through it. So again, so I'm going to start looking at my list um, and right away I noticed immediately that we had all the ingredients to make tacos. So tacos is definitely going to be one of those nights and then what I do is I grab my pen. What I do is if I'm going to utilize those ingredients, I'm going to put a little dash next to them so I know that they've already been allocated towards a meal this week. So um, the sour cream, I'm not going to worry about quite as much. I know I need to use it up, but I know I'm going to have plenty for taco night. And then if I need to use it in another dish, I can use it in another dish as well. But I'm going to use up the tomato. I'm going to use up, let's see, my pen die. I'm going to use up the tomato. I'm going to use up the cabbage. I'm going to use up the tortillas. I'm going to use up the shredded cheese that's in the refrigerator. Now, we do have shredded cheese in our freezer, too, as a backup. And what I will do is when we run out of the stuff in our refrigerator, I will take the stuff out of the freezer, put it in the refrigerator, and then when we go grocery shopping this next uh, for this next month, I'll buy more shredded cheese and restock the freezer with it. Uh, we've got black beans, so I'm going to utilize those. Rice for the tacos. Uh, and I think that's probably about it for tacos. So one of the nights we're going to do tacos. So then what I do is I take out my calendar and I just write down what we are going to have for that night. So then that way when I, the night before, I can make sure that those ingredients are either thawed out or ready to go. So probably um, I'm gone Monday nights and Wednesday nights until about 6.30. So we'll probably do tacos one of those nights because it's a quick, easy, simple thing to do. So I'm gonna put tacos down on Monday. All right, and then next, I have got the stuff for um, pasta. So as much as I want to do a uh, pasta tonight, I know that we already have something ready for it. So I will um, do pasta on Tuesday night. And the pasta is probably going to be spaghetti and meatballs since we have a bag of meatballs that need to be used up. So I'm just going to go through here. I had an open bet or an open thing of pasta sauce that needed to be used up, so I'm going to take care of that. I am going to take care of garlic bread, and I'm going to take care of the meatballs. Where did I put those? Oh, they're right here. I'm going to take care of the meatballs. Um, and then Wednesday night, again, I'm out later that night, so that night what we'll probably do is fish and veggies. I've got those green beans to use up, so that would be a great night to use those. And then maybe one of the frozen bags of vegetables, we can mix them all together. So we're going to do fish and I'm take care of the frozen vegetables and the green beans that night. And let's see, Thursday night. Thursday night, I think, might be one of our meatless nights. Um, one thing that Aaron really does like is, um, we call them fancy grilled cheeses. But basically all it is is it's grilled cheese um, with like Munster cheese or provolone or pepper jack on sourdough bread. If you've never had it, it's recommended. I, I would try it out. So, um, which is great because we've got sourdough bread that needs to be used up and I had sliced cheese as well that needed to be used up. And then um, also on it, we'll put, you can do sliced avocado, sliced tomatoes, sliced onion, anything you want on your grilled cheese. If you want, you can even put some meat on it. Maybe I can thaw out some of the frozen chicken and Aaron can put chicken on his grilled cheese and kind of make like a chicken melt um, panini sort of thing. So Thursday night, we will do grilled cheese and veggies. We are big vegetable eaters, so having veggies two nights in a row is not going to be an issue for us. So that will be Thursday. Friday night will probably be date night. We usually try to allocate um, at least one night a week to going out. 
Um, if for some reason we do not go out on Friday night, which there is a possibility we won't, then we'll probably eat leftovers. So I'm gonna call Friday night either leftover or date night. Um, let's see, for Saturday, we will probably do, what else do I have left? Okay, I've got stuffing, I've got spaghetti. Oh, nope, I've used my spaghetti noodles. Um, but I do have, um, shredded pork. So maybe we'll do barbecue pork sandwiches that night. Or I've got pork stew meat. So I'll probably do some sort of pork dish Saturday night. Sunday, um, Sunday's kind of our lazy day where we just kind of throw things together. It's our day that if we want, we throw something in the crock pot and just let it cook all day and kind of eat it as we're hungry because we're usually trying to get things prepped for the week and trying to get things done around the house. So um, what we will probably do on Sunday is we will probably throw probably maybe like a beef roast in the crock pot for the day and maybe some potatoes. I had some carrots that needed to be used up. So we'll do that, we'll throw that in there and then that way then we will have roast that night for supper. That'll give me plenty of time to get the roast out and get it thawed prior to Sunday. Um, and then we'll just let it cook all day. So uh, now that we have got our meal plan, let's see, roast and potatoes. So now that we have our meal plan put together for the whole week, um, now I know what items are going to be getting used up. I can start making my grocery list for next month. Um, so I will start working on that and getting that all set up so that we can grocery shop and then. What I'll do is I will show you what we purchased for a whole month's worth of groceries in one shopping trip. Um, I'll show you that once we do that. And otherwise, besides that, that is all I have for meal prep. Just gonna finish off this pasta sauce over here, which I'm telling you, it's looking delicious. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any tips or suggestions or things that you guys do for meal preps, um, let me know. We're always looking for different meal ideas. We do. I do spend a lot of time on Pinterest. I find a lot of my recipes on there. That's also like if I were to have had you know some sort of meat and I didn't know how to utilize it. Maybe I wanted. We had chicken legs and I was going to use the chicken legs up. And I didn't, you know, have a recipe for it. I've gone to Pinterest and search a recipe for chicken legs and see what I could find. So there's tons of different ways that you can find different recipes for the week. This is just a great way to make sure that you're utilizing all the food in your refrigerator and your freezers and nothing is going bad. Um, I hate throwing food away and I'm sure you guys do too. So this is just a great way to try to eliminate that. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Everyone stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you later. Bye.